Maybe we should promote you to the factory. Shh. <laughs> Silence. week 42 holy moly i had someone um the other day tell me that they didn't think i would last this long in fact they made a bet with their friends to see how long i would last that's not a sexual reference that's a reference for the vlog but um yeah week 42 i'm almost there almost what we got nine weeks to go until this year's out that is ridiculous this week i want to talk about one thing and one thing only that uh it came into my mind due to what i did this week as a part of my radio show on uh, fresh 92.7 breakfast i um have been doing a thing called job swap. So basically, uh, we had people um, apply to swap jobs with myself and my co-host Alex, and in turn, we uh, went out there um, and helped uh, them on the job, and they came in and hosted the breakfast show with us. So I got to do a few of those this week. She was spicy. Can you give me her a number, Alex? I'll take it. Yeah. A lot of regular. Yeah. What do you think of the service? It's really good. Cam wants to know if he can have your number. Is that okay? All right, sure. Are you, oh! are you serious? Yeah, it's fine. Yes! <laughs> You've been here 15 minutes now. Meanwhile, I'm the one that gave her the good service, yeah. but, you know. You're a legend. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all there. They are all there. <laughs> Start of something good, guys. Mrs. Doyle, you could be looking at it. Typical, I'm doing all the work. You're going to flirt with this guy too? No, bugger oh. this work stuff, eh? I've got digits. Oh, no phone yeah. on shift. Sorry. Not today! What I say is a first of all text. Enjoy your... Coffee. There we go. Enjoy your coffee. And I guess what I want to talk about is the idea of um, what you want to do in your career. When I was at university, I studied a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Music. Um, it's just what I wanted to do. I've played guitar since I was 10 years old. Um, I'm not very good at it, but I've always had music with me and I've always enjoyed um, sort of being creative in a writing sort of, I don't know, just like just doing weird offbeat sort of creative things. I guess this vlog is an example of that. I need you to whip cream this drink for us, mate. Oh, oh. oh come on! <laughs> I didn't think you could possibly stuff this up. Done. It looks terrible. <laughs> you could get a little bit more. Sort of push down onto it as you do it. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. See, I wasn't That's told it. the technique. No, no, you weren't. That's probably my fault there. It wasn't my fault. When I was younger at uh, working in a job, another job, um, I had someone ask me what I studied at university and I told them I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of English and when I told this person in particular that they made a joke saying oh so you're gonna be a pretty good barista eh? <laughs> As in that was a bad thing. I don't think so at all. Good. Going to hold it? But at the time I was told, I thought, shit, maybe I'm not contributing to society at all in the way that, you know, someone with an engineering degree or, uh, you know, being someone of, I guess, more science and math based would be. I think people have that uh, idea and visualization when they hear the term Bachelor of Arts because it doesn't actually qualify you for a whole lot. But what it does give you is a bunch of skills and, and uh, ways to think about things in a way that's, I guess, building that skill set that can work towards an actual career. Career that, that people can forge for themselves. You know, with me, with radio, I guess I never did an actual radio course, but I used the skills that I learned in English and uh, music degrees in a way that's beneficial towards my career now. I learned references, I learned, I guess, turn of phrase and all that kind of things, albeit that I'm not amazing at it on radio, but I can still attribute most of those things that I learned during my course in university. Let's open them off. Go, go. You look like a Christmas tree. It's nice. It doesn't matter if you're doing an arts degree or a weird degree that other people think it's not um, beneficial to society because people that uh, make it in arts have to hustle a lot harder than those people in the science and degrees where the career is cut out for them. So if you're studying aerospace engineering, for example, you can be an aerospace engineer or some form of. If you're studying English though at uh, university, you could put that to be a full-time poet, a writer, a teacher, 
um, a songwriter, anything that is loosely based on words. Does that make sense? You've got to forge your own career and really nut out something that's going to make you money and monetize your passions as opposed to just say, here, these are the skills that's going to make you be a good doctor or a good whatever you're studying. Again, not that it's a bad thing that you go and be an aerospace engineer or a doctor or a uh, uh, you know mechanical engineer or, or anything like that. I just think that you shouldn't let other people's opinions of something like a Bachelor of Arts stop you doing from what you love to do. And this can be applied to whatever you're doing. It doesn't have to just be university. It can be your um, wider career as well. Just don't let other people's opinions sway what you actually want to do. Just go and do it. Okay? I hope that makes sense. This is a little bit of a rambling vlog, but it was just a thought that I had that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you have any opinions on the matter, or whether it be disagree or agree with me, um, uh, start a conversation down below. I wanna know what you think. Um, are Bachelor of Arts and those creative-based degrees worth it in the end? Um, I don't necessarily agree that you have to go to university for them, but it's definitely not a waste of time in my opinion. Damn, no wonder Rob's a cleaner. Damn. Damn. good. <laughs> You're not letting me hit it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really good at taking time to this. Ow! Hey, what's going on, guys? What do you mean, Rob? We're chilling out. We're having, to clean. We're having a break. Got Ten minute break, Rob. We've only been playing. Come on! <laughs> Could we interest you in a game? <laughs> no. instead, of, instead of cleaning? No. I always <laughs> get the job done first. Oh, Sorry about Detail, that. Detail, <laughs> you make me sick. Mop on the floor. Yeah, mop on the floor. Run me through it. What's going on? Mop on the floor, yeah. on wooden floors. You can't get them too wet, nice and easy. Yeah, I can see why you're the pro, mate. Here we go. Not, not much, you said, Rob? Yeah, that's right. Just nice and hard. What do you think of me job so far, Rob? You're doing a great job. Thanks, mate. And now, see you guys later. Well, how do I get it? See ya. Damn, don't leave us. Bye. No, I can't. <laughs> Job Swap this week has been pretty fun. I look forward to doing more cool shit uh, with the radio show coming into the later stages of the year. Jesus, this year has gone so, so fast. Keeping up has been an absolute grind. Um, this week, incoming, some cool stuff's going down. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Um, I'm trying to make another video where I hopefully will uh, be on the similar vein as those uh, really quick edits that I've been making lately. Otherwise, you'll just see some cool vlog content from my week that was. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. A subscribe, um, jump into my Facebook as Cameron Doyle as well, give that a, a like, or my Instagram, Cameron Mark Doyle. That's enough for some shameless self promotion. Have an absolutely epic week, and I'll see you very, very, very soon on the interwebs. Bye, legends. Damn, no wonder Rob's a cleaner. Damn. Damn. Good. <laughs> You're not letting me hit it.